technology is hypnotizing. It really is. And that's not new. It's always been that way. But regardless of how good your technology is or brilliant your idea is, we mustn't forget that it's always people. The technology can be seductive, but if you don't understand the people component, it's not going to work. Fundamentally, the great entrepreneurs, the ones who will make it, aren't doing so with delusions of millions or delusions of the next big thing. They do so because they love what they're doing and the money and the success comes later. I do love what I do. I love what I'm doing. I'm passionate about what I it's do. It's almost a naive passion. There's an addiction to it. If I didn't get paid to do this, I'll probably figure out how to get paid to do this. I want to be an entrepreneur. I've worked on this so long. We're now seeing that sort of mad scramble to cash in on whether it's video games, a successful app. For years, I've done nothing but sleep, eat, and dream this machine. Now, you know, you can launch the company in a couple weeks, basically for free. The cloud, it's one of the biggest buzzwords in technology. Nowadays, there seems to be an app for everything. I could come up with the next cool app. Dennis, how big do you think Foursquare is going to be? <laughs> We are in a bubble. Aren't we too paranoid that we're in a bubble? There is definitely a euphoria around investing. This is just legitimized gambling. You take the money, you gotta kiss the ring. There's so much that can go wrong. You can get the wrong people. You'll have interpersonal conflicts. You have the wrong idea. Sign a bad deal. Technology doesn't work. You'll run out of money. I was completely out of money. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, let's just cut. When there's an idea that's so compelling that it inspires you to leave stability. I somehow talked my family into how it's a good idea for me to stop getting paid. I was told I was crazy over and over again. We are putting absolutely everything into this. This is a snapshot of life on the front lines of innovation. Everything's being hacked in this moment in time. And the shared vision of five startups. I like building technology that solves problems. What are you willing to put on the line? Crazy enough to see that an idea can change the world. You just have to will that sucker into existence.